But I'm also a firm believer that for, at least in the coaching world, if someone is a really, really good salesperson, they typically are not a really, really good coach. Like there's so two very different skills, which is why you end up with people who have all these coaching clients that come out going, I didn't get anything out of that. Well, that's because they're a salesperson. And then you have mm. people who are really good coaches who don't have the clients because they're not good salespeople. Why, why are those skills different? Why are they not correlated? So I, I feel like, and this is my opinion, that as to be a good salesperson, you have to be able to build a box. You have to be able to say, I recognize your problem. Here's how you fix it. Here you get from A to Z. I'll put you in this box and it'll all be pretty and painted and you will be fixed. And people buy that. They buy the box. But if you're a really good coach, you have a whole litany of tools on your shelf that can build boxes or bottles or, you know, whatever design thing the person needs. And when you talk to them, you say, all right, I think this tool will help. Let's work on that. And if it does, great. If it doesn't, oh, put that one back and get a different one out. And that, when you talk to someone about the actual messiness of coaching, then they're like, I can't buy that. That's a disaster. Well, yeah, because coaching's messy because humans are messy.